Welcome to this video playing After Dark. What could I play? Hmm. Well, let's play some Slav. And uh, the flag, hmm. I, I think this is some Asian flag. Like Thailand or something. Thailand, yes! I got one right. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Um, a Slav. It took me 20 seconds to put on the board. Let's speed up here and uh, play this solid line, the selector or schlechter Slav. This is the main opening of uh, Gata Kamskis against d4 besides the uh, Grunfeld. But, uh, He's really, he really has perfected this kind of position for black. He's almost never losing and even winning sometimes, which uh, always strikes me as amazing from this really not much happening position, but uh, it, it's working for him perfectly. Okay, so e5, is e5 an idea? Sometimes it's a cool tactical shot here. E5. Yeah, let's do that. It's based on the position of knight and bishop. If he takes on d5 with whatever pawn, yeah, I take here, and I have knight e5 next. Quite often, this only leads to a simplification, but um, it's probably still the way to go. I didn't didn't see that one at all. But what is happening here? What the heck? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Knight e5. Okay, is the principled move. Yeah, that, that's not overthink here. It's the. If you want to refute it, you must play this. Not quite sure if you can can refute that, but yeah, this I thought knight h5, and it's really it's really just a piece, isn't it? I hope it is. Queen e2 was what I'm was unsure about. Maybe I'm overlooking something here as well. It's possible, of course. But this I'm considered to be fine. There's always uh, the issue of this c6 pawn anyway, that uh, at the end he will take on b7 and uh, this pawn is a nuisance. But the problem is a bit, uh, where is he going with the queen at all? I mean, find a square. It needs to go to some really weird square, g5 maybe. h2 looks uh, very depressing. Yeah, and uh, queen g5. <laughs> I probably just can take, I mean, what's the big deal? I can take g5 and maybe even take d3 and c3. This is really lots of pieces off. <laughs> yeah, he probably didn't really appreciate knight h5. All right, let's, let's take it. It's still, it's still tricky, probably, somewhat. But uh, think, think for a moment here, just a moment. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no way to sacrifice the rook. Thought about knight d3 briefly. But this should be really good. I mean, I'm threatening knight d3, just getting another piece. And also b2, and um, I don't really see a move. His queen is also cut off. It's probably just a win. Yeah, 
yeah rook and queen being opposite uh, is also uh, something but bishop c2 is the only discovery or bishop e2 that, that doesn't hang the rook and bishop e2 it's not really it's not really threatening at least i don't uh, see a threat yeah but to how exactly queen b6 maybe maybe queen b6 attacking b2 with the uh, with this fork attacking b7 so just uh, take b7 now with what the queen yeah maybe the queen so that bishop e3 is not coming with the tempo yeah he's still playing without the queen on h2 I'm not sure, bishop e3 or something. Uh, oh, I, I really didn't uh, appreciate that. But I have knight f3, yeah. this is good. Rook is attacked now. Yeah, white is white is falling apart now, really. Rookie one, I have rookie eight. It's uh, probably the most forceful. Okay. What's uh, the best here? Knight f4. Maybe knight f4. <laughs> yeah, just uh, briefly think about that. Yeah, okay, come on, knight f4 is strong. I have uh, bishop c5 coming, rook b2 coming. just take Check. it the problem is the queen <laughs> it's a dead piece Check. White forfeits on time. yeah I can take h3 and uh, f2 so even maybe wait I was I was only wondering about uh, what the comp suggested here bishop to d6 yeah this is <laughs> yeah this is strong <laughs> it threatens queen d3 knight h3 winning the queen and white cannot prevent it yeah it's uh, lost anyway yeah it's a matter of uh, of a miscalculation i guess he needs to go to e2 this is uh, interesting I think I, I probably need to take and then something like this leads to interesting play with not so much happening uh -huh. yeah the comp, comp actually wants to just recapture yeah I briefly thought about that but knight e5 looked too tempting he just wants to play this. Yeah, why not actually? This is certainly not a bad position for black. 
somehow it's 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 quite curious sometimes in this rather passive position you know, that uh, with some tactical means uh, quite often black can uh, can um, free himself and get to uh, get something going in the center it's very often based on the fact that simply the fianchetto <laughs> is a, a good position for the bishop yeah interesting game nevertheless thanks for watching